the earliest bony fish, or osteic, the end fish from the Silurian period, already had a number of elements of the skull, which would serve as the foundation for the tetrapod skull for vertebrates on land. As these early osteichthyan fish evolved into sarcopterygian fish over tens of millions of years, not only did the sarcopterygian fish evolve lungs, but they modified the skull in many ways to make it more similar to that of amphibians. The position of the orbit would move, and the otic region of the skull would change to better accommodate the perception of light and sound on land. The second nostril, the posterior nostril, moved from the face to the jaw margin to the roof of the mouth and would ultimately allow amphibians then to breathe on land. Later, sarcopterygian fish like Tiklek would actually separate the pectoral girdle from the skull by the uh, degradation of the bones which attach the two creating the neck like that observed in early amphibians. And so many of the changes evident in the tetrapod skull evolved in sarcopterygian fish.